How to Write Web Copy That Converts So you're getting lots of visitors to your web page, but you aren't getting enough sales. What's going wrong? If your visitors aren't buying your products it's possible that they just aren't interested in what you're selling. It's also possible that you are attracting the wrong kind of visitors visitors who are less likely to be interested in what you have to offer and that you need to alter your SEO strategy accordingly. However, the most likely reason your visitor numbers aren't converting into sales is that you need to alter your sales copy. If your visitors aren't interested in buying, then you need to get them interested. There really is no substitute for great sales copy. Of course, you could hire a professional copywriter, but if you're good with words, there's no reason why you can't do it yourself. Writing great copy that converts into sales can be tricky at times, but it can be made much easier by remembering just a few simple rules. Here are my top tips for writing web copy that converts, explain very clearly and in simple terms the benefits of buying your product. Describe the product in detail so that there can be no confusion. If they don't know exactly what they are buying, they won't want to give you any money. Don't be too pushy. Don't you just hate it when people try too hard to sell you something you're not sure you need? The harder they try to sell it, the less you want to buy it. This is especially true when buying online. People are always skeptical when buying from a website. They can't see the product and they find it difficult to make a judgment about the person they're handing their credit card details to. It's therefore important to sound trustworthy and friendly. You should never seem greedy or desperate to get your hands on a customer's money, sell directly and confidently but not aggressively. If your product is any good at all, it should sell itself, avoid cliche copyright s. Whatever you do, don't claim that your product will change the buyer's life. Tired, cliche copyright s like this can make you sound like an untrustworthy wheeler dealer and reduce buyer confidence, be concise. If you ramble on too much, it's possible that visitors will get bored of reading and lose interest in your product. Make more information available on a separate page if you think it's necessary, but don't force it on people, make your copy easy to read. Write in short sentences and use short paragraphs. Where appropriate use subheadings and bullet points to communicate information quickly and simply include a strong call to action. A call to action, sometimes referred to as a CTA, is a small piece of copy that encourages readers to take direct action. In sales copy, this is basically a sentence telling the reader to buy now, although it might not be a good idea to put it in quite those words. While it's a good idea to be subtle throughout most of your sales copy, you'll still have to give a big push at the end. It's decision time for the visitor to buy or not to buy, to convert or not to convert. With larger pieces of copy, several calls to action can be useful. Perhaps one at the beginning for the very eager buyer and one at the end for those needing to be persuaded. Follow these simple rules and you should have no problems writing web copy that converts.